my best to say. Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be playing Cherophobia. This is a game where you're stuck in the woods and you find somebody that offers help. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's either start the engine. Turn on the radio. Nope, we're not listening to creepy radio. Alright, so obviously the car's not starting. And we are driving one nice car, I'm not going to lie. Why are we out in the woods like this though? <laughs> We're just in the middle of nowhere. Actually in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, we've ran up on this one single house right here in the middle of nowhere. Seemed like we knew where we was going. God. Hold on. How tall am I compared to this house? Because good God. I only reached the door knob. Knock. Uh. Who is this? I don't. Who is this? Uh, name's daughter Aeolides. My car's a wreck, so you better help me fix this mess. Oh, I mean, how do I, can I adjust which one I, I can say? Because I kind of don't. Okay, tab. We'll do that one. You're a broken car? That's uh, unfortunate. I'm not used to visitors, especially not out here. Okay. Would you like to come in and use my phone to call for a tow? Or perhaps I can get you a nearby mechanic. Uh, I should really get back to my car, wait for help. Actually, if you wouldn't mind just handing me the phone here, I think I'll make the call from the porch. Okay, but not just for the phone, you see. I have other interests in this area. Perhaps we can have a chat. What's that supposed to mean? What is that one supposed to mean? Okay, that's very kind of you. Thank you. We'll just be, just be nice to her. Okay. Oh, my. Oh! Why did the... Pause. Where did I come in from? And why is everything so white? Please, come in. I'm glad to offer a helping hand to someone in need, especially on such a night. What's wrong Nights with the night? are unforgiving here, and the woods are not kind to strangers. It's better to be indoors where it's safe. Uh, I need to call my wife. Uh, thank you for letting me know. Let me in now if you can show me the phone. I really need to get, call my wife. We'll do that one. The phone is just down the hall. Lay a store on your left. It's a bit secluded, but you'll find it quite private for your call. What, what is this? By the way, when you return, would you prefer tea or coffee? Coffee. Uh, tea. Let's Second just go with doctor. tea. And she's watching us walk back. By the way, what is she doing over here? Drinking? Drinking, smoking, and looking at staring at the white wall. And then she said to the lift. Oh my gosh. Why the freak is it just throwing me in here like this? What are these what is this layout of these rooms? Who do you want to call? What year is this? My wife, obviously. Who do you want to call? So I can't call my wife? Uh what my friend, Dr. Ethan Clark. Hey, you're not going to believe this. My car broke down in the middle of nowhere. That's rough, man. Sorry to hear that. Are you okay out there? Anything I can do to help from here? Uh, it was because I wanted to get back to check on Sarah. Sarah. How is your project going? Are you making the progress you were hoping for? Am I hearing the piano play? I can't. Some sounds like it's playing in the background. I heard a breakthrough, but it didn't work out. It's like every path I took looks bad to itself. It's just spinning on wheels. How hard that must be, especially under the pressure of Sarah's illness. Oh. But maybe this unexpected stop is a chance to breathe and not just push harder. Always here for you. Stay safe and let's talk soon. Give my best to Sarah. <gasps> Your tea is ready, Doctor. Hey. I've set it out there in the sitting room. Please come and have a seat. It. By the way, I've taken the liberty of. Contacting someone to look at your car, they should have it fixed by tomorrow. Why is you behind me? I thought the whole point of me calling was so I could be secluded, private. What is your t shirt, too? Why does it got an alien face on it? My gosh. Sit here, sweetheart. How is she in front of me?
Well, let's just sit down then. Drink my coffee or my tea. Mm, why am I gulping it like that? God. It must be really good. All right. Talk to I our guests. It was to your liking. It was a bit of a blend I make myself. I don't even I don't even like that. We just drank something from her we shouldn't have. I'm quite worn out, if you don't mind me saying. Why don't you stay here for the night? The bedroom is just down the hall, right door. You can get a fresh start in the morning. Might be best to accept your hospitality. I'd rather not stay in the house, all right. Bruh, I don't know. Like me personally, I'm not staying in the house, but in this situation, you've already went this far. You have nothing to defend yourself. Just accept That's it, man. Wonderful to hear. Okay. All right. Let me get up. I'm going to bed. Good night, ma'am. Please don't pop up in my face like you just did. Oh, now I'm locking the door. Am I going to fall asleep? I hear you moving about. It's best if you try to keep still and rest. Why? Try to relax and let yourself drift. Who is, where is she at talking? Where is she at? Uh, uh, do I not need to be out here? Why'd I leave my car lights on? Let's go back in, bro. I don't know where she's at. All right, let's lay back down. Let's just lay down. She's going to get mad at me. I hear you moving about. It's best if you try to keep still and rest. Try to relax and let yourself drift off. I, I'm sitting still, not even moving. What happened? I wake up? Why am I making those noises like that? Where's this music? Has it been there the whole time? Good morning. I hope you slept well despite everything. I just heard your car is all fixed up and, and ready to go. They managed to sort out the trouble quicker than expected. You must be relieved to hear that. Yep. All right. Appreciate the help, lady. Hold on. Hey, the door is locked. I think you forgot to lock, unlock the door. I think I, you... Hey, I think you... I think you forgot to unlock the door. Now, it's still, it's still nighttime outside. I went the wrong way. I thought that was a, I thought that was a... These dudes worked on my car and then shut my door. Is my car going to be running or not, man? Get in. She, she lied. Can I shut this door? She lied, the door's not even, the car's not even fixed. I should have known something was funky when I walked outside and it was still nighttime. I mean, just. She's still in here playing music. Door is locked. Uh, we gonna, let's knock on the door. Who is this? Girl. Uh, 
Do you, how do you not recognize me? Yeah. You're delusional if you think I know who you are. Just leave me alone. No, she not. Oh dear, a broken car? That's unfortunate. I'm not used to visitors, especially not out here. Bruh, be for real. I'd like to come in and use my phone to call for a tow, or perhaps I can get you a nearby mechanic. Uh. Oh, why? What is this? What is the reasoning behind this one? Uh, give me the phone. Oh, I'm sorry, but the phone's cord won't reach this far. You'll need to come in to use it. I assure you, it's quite safe here. We're back in here again. Why you act like you don't know who I am? Please. I'm glad I, I nights. Not so unforgiving here. Ah, uh, I really need to call my wife ASAP. The only left is bitch secluded private. You return and you prefer tea or coffee. Uh actually I skipped the drink for now. It's always nice to have a warm drink in here, especially on a cold night like this, don't you think? Uh let's do coffee this time. Certainly, doctor. Alright. Just make sure you got my coffee hot, bruh. You do anything weird again, bro, I'm gonna turn around and hit you. We're not letting it slide this time. Can we call from right here? I have to have my back turned. Now tell me why it won't go through to my wife. What's happening? Bro, this is the longest dial tone I've ever heard in my entire life. All right, brother. Who do you want to call? Oh, so not my wife, please. I can't call my wife? How about a towing service? Uh, my car right now very remote. Can you send a tow truck? Where exactly are you right now? Uh, it's all too confusing. We couldn't be more help at, at this moment if you get any more words, don't hesitate to call us. I knew you was going to be there. Your coffee is ready, doctor. I've placed it on the table there in the living room. By the way, and then they contacted someone to look at your drawer. They should have it fixed by tomorrow. Bro, we already had this conversation. And why is why am I still going through with it? Come sit here, sweetheart. We already did this, bro. Why take pills for it? Did I just take the pills? I hope it was to your liking. It was a bit of a blend you made yourself. You made yourself? What? You look quite worn out, if you don't mind me saying. Why don't you... Stephen and I, Baron, uh... I guess we'll do that. Wonderful to hear. <laughs> uh, that's wonderful to hear. Yep. All right, man. I. Why is our head shaking like that? Has it always been shaking like that? Yeah. Just light hammer. That clock's going a lot faster than before. You already took the pills, bro. Just knock out. Something creepy gonna happen this time. I mean, the whole game's really been creepy, but still. Is this gonna be like the same thing before, bro? It is. It's literally the same time. Good morning. Slip. Well, I just heard that cars mm -hmm. all fixed up. The manager just swore out of the trouble. You must be relieved to hear that. Bro, okay. The problem is, is my dude. It's sat here. 
and basically just went through this entire thing again for no reason like he even knew that this jump was like a repeat of what just happened and he's just cool with it All right, back at us. His whining. It's pathetic, isn't it? He still believes you love him. Watching him squirm during these tests is strangely satisfying. I'm a monster. We're all monsters. All of us embracing this cruel science. Bro, what is she talking about right now? Door's locked. Knock. Who is this? Bro, you know who it is, bro. Oh dear, a broken No, bro. Come in. Yeah. Is it like I don't get it. Hey yo, she looked different. Please. Night. Oh my gosh. Uh, I need really need to call my wife. By the way. Uh, just tea. Whatever, man. Why is you getting? Why is you got white hair though? If she don't pop up beside behind me this time when I get on the phone, I'm gonna feel some type of way because I'm just used to that right now. Who do you want to call? My wife. What have you done, my love? What the freak? Are you okay? Where are you now? I've been worried sick about you. Been so absorbed with this stu stupid experiment lately, this obsession Please, of yours. Just promise me you'll be careful. I need you here, safe and sound, not chasing after the impossible. What's that supposed Don't to mean? Use that concoction. On Don't you ever use that concoction on, you on yourself? What's that supposed to mean? Your tea is. Said, uh, come. It should help way, warm you up. Am I? Am I like on some? Sit here, sweetheart. Is this the concoction she's talking about? Because I don't remember drinking this the first time. I'm taking pills and drinking again. Am I still taking the pills? Am I good? Apologies about your car still not being fixed. Is this it new? Be you know, doctor. Instead of waiting around here. Oh. <laughs> why don't you try pushing your car? There could be more options. It repairs once you're away from this isolated spot. What do you think? Is that your way to just get me out the house? Matter of fact, I don't even mind. I, that don't hurt my feelings. Is my car turned around? Today on Channel 7 News. Despite the passing of nine long months, Dr. Eolides remains in a mysterious and unexplained state of hallucinatory coma. What? Astonishingly, reports indicate that neither his hair nor his nails have shown any signs of growth during this time raising more questions than answers about his condition. What's more, there are no visible signs of aging, leaving medical experts baffled and the public intrigued. Despite exhaustive efforts by top specialists, there has been no breakthrough in awakening him from his surreal slumber. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this perplexing medical mystery. So... Basically, those pills I was taking and everything I was taking was making me not age, and I was in a coma. I'm hallucinating. Okay. I don't know what the point of a little grandma or woman... Why was they trying to get me to do something with my thing? But this music kind of goes hard. It was a pretty good game, man. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.